Welcome back creators. This is episode 9.2 of Create with Cubelets. In this episode, we'll build the Cubelets Blockly program for a brightness cubelet to explore block values and sense values. We'll start with a simple robot construction on the main Blockly screen. For different code blocks, we'll use different cubelets to best illustrate what each code block can do. To begin, we'll connect a brightness cubelet. You should see your brightness cubelet appear on the block map. If you don't, you can click this little refresh icon and it should appear. Now, if we want to start building a program for the brightness, I like to quickly name my program. For clarity, I'm going to pick brightness example. Again, I can click on the brightness cubelet so I can see which code blocks are compatible with my cubelet. This way, I can be sure I'm building a program that will work with the cubelet I plan on using it with. We're going to build a small program that causes the brightness cubelet to behave just like the brightness personality. Then we will change the brightness behavior by altering the code. In order to do that, let's spend a moment talking about an important variable inside of cubelets. It's called the block value. When cubelets talk to each other, they share a number between 0 and 255. This number is a cubelet's block value, and it is the main variable in coding with cubelets. A block value can be generated in any number of ways, but for sense cubelets, they translate a sensor value into the block value and then share that with any cubelet they're connected to. So the brightness cubelet sets its block value equal to its brightness sensor value. Since we want to represent this as code, let's grab the blocks that match. Because the block value is a variable, we're going to start in the variable submenu. Grab the set item to block and drag it into place. In the drop down window inside of the block, you'll see a few different options. The first is the block value. Select this option. Now we have a block of code that reads set the block value to blank. Next, we need to define what we are setting the block value to. In this case, we want to set it to the brightness sensor value. Where can we find a block? for the sensor value. If you set the sensing submenu, then you're correct. Grab the sense value block and use it to complete the program. Now I have a program that sets the block value to the sensor value. If we program the selected brightness cubelet, the result should be a brightness cubelet that behaves exactly the same as the default brightness personality. If I add my newly programmed brightness cubelet to a robot construction, it will behave as expected, with low light levels resulting in a low output, and high light levels resulting in a high output. But what if we wanted the opposite behavior? Using cubelets, we can add an inverse cubelet. But suppose we didn't have an inverse cubelet. Using code, we can directly invert the sense and block value relationship. So let's go back to our program and reconnect to the brightness cubelet. Let's compare our goal with the current code. We want a program where the block value is the opposite of the sense value. Our current code says to set the variable block value to the sense value. Now, here is where the thinking submenu comes into play. Notice the inverse of block. This is the code version of the inverse cubelet. It is the function that inverts flips or makes the opposite of. Click and drag to insert it into the canvas. Click on the sense value block and separate it from our program. Then insert the inverse of block and reconnect the sense value block. So now our code reads, set the block value to the inverse of the sense value. Click to program the selected brightness cubelet. When it's ready, you'll see that the brightness cubelet behaves in the opposite manner of the default brightness cubelets, where lots of light results in a low block value, and low levels of light results in a high block value. Finally, let's reset our cubelet to its default by connecting it to cubelets blockly. Select the brightness cubelet from the block map, then click Restore to Default. This brings us to the end of episode 9.2. Stay tuned for more Cubelets Blockly overview as we explore the acting tab. Until next time, happy building.